Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we are going to be doing a lithium conversion on this 2002 EasyGo TXT. It is a currently it is a 36 volt golf cart, but the customer has upgraded motor controller and solenoid combination, so we will be installing a 48 volt lithium golf cart battery in here and finishing the conversion from 36 to 48. We are gonna be installing the new drop-in 51.2 volt, 105 amp hour battery from Allied Battery. I will list the specs in the description below. But just real quick, there is 48 volts at the terminals, positive and negative post. You have your communication port for your voltage meter. It does come with an on-off switch. The kit does come with mounting brackets, and I'll show you how to install these. New positive and negative main cables to your solenoid and to your controller. Terminal protectors. This is the Allied dash mounted voltage meter. Comes with the wiring harness, and it attaches to the battery using a shunt, which is pretty easy to install. Also included is the onboard charge connector. This is how we're gonna hook the charger up to the battery. So we're gonna run these two to our positive and negative post, and this will clip in to our charger output. And lastly, it comes with the lithium charger that we will be mounting on board. There are a few items that you don't need, but you may want. Number one is a 12 volt reducer. So we have, um, 48 volts coming in and 12 volts coming out since the battery only has 48 volts at the post we're going to need to reduce it down for our 12 volt accessories now if you have two or more 12 volt accessories i highly recommend installing a fuse block this way all your 12 volt accessories are protected and uh, you don't have to do any cut any future cutting or crimping if you want to add any accessories in you just put an eyelet on it and hook it up right to your uh, fuse block and the last item we're going to be installing uh, is a charge receptacle replacement so it's going to uh, take his old receptacle we're going to be taking it out have the easy go plug in it and now he will have a uh, 110 male plug here and we'll plug the charger in here once your golf cart is in the off position and you put it in tow you are now ready to remove the lead acid batteries and prep the tray for the lithium batteries. Now that we have the battery tray completely cleaned out and treated with the Rust-Oleum, we're gonna go ahead and mount the mounting brackets. And to do that, you can slide them into place with this groove right here. Um, I hand tighten these 12 millimeter bolts down. I'm gonna make my marks here and here. I'm gonna place 12 millimeter bolts there as well. I'm gonna drill those in, nut and bolt here, and the same thing over here, hand tight, drill, nut and bolt. It's a good time to go ahead and do the charger and all of your other accessories uh, before you put the battery in so you have some more room to work with. I like to mount my charger and uh, 12 volt reducer, fuse block, uh, in this area over here on the driver's side and also you can mount it up here with a three-point connection using these bars here if you want to elevate it up if you're worried about splashing. The Ally charger does come with bottom and side mount so they give you the option uh, when you mount this on board you, uh, mounting it horizontal or, or vertically. I've gone ahead and mounted my charger with some self-tapping screws. I also mounted my 12 volt reducer and my fuse block right underneath it. Here's the back side of the charge receptacle and it comes over here to, went to your, your battery bank, your negative and your positive here. And this guy right here, which runs to your controller, this uh, wiring harness here, is where it ends up but we're gonna need to clip this and I'll probably end up clipping it somewhere 
give me enough room, I'll clip it kind of close to the receptacle. But I'll pull this little wire out here. I'll clip it and put an eyelet on it and it will go to the positive post on our battery. And this will bypass the reed switch and allow the cart to operate properly. And the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is remove the, the charge receptacle cover. To do that, I'm gonna to have to drill out these four rivets. They're not nut and bolts, they're rivets. But the replacement comes with nut and bolts and they're perfectly sized, so we're not gonna to have to drill anything. And slide your new one into place using a 10 millimeter and a Phillips head. Go ahead and tighten down the four nuts and bolts to secure your charge receptacle to the cart. Now that we've finished with uh, installing our charge receptacle, we can go ahead and plug it up to our charger. And we're gonna plug it up to the charger input. Good secure connection. And then I just hide the rest behind the charger in the little bit of space I left right here. Now we have the charger output and we're gonna run this directly to our battery. All right, go ahead and set your battery down in the place on top of the mounting bracket. Line your holes up, secure them down to the mounting bracket, and we'll be ready to hook this battery up. Allied provides new positive and negative cables. So we're gonna go ahead and replace these. The negative runs to the controller and we'll go to the negative post, and the positive will go to the B plus positive on your solenoid to your positive post. All right, now you may have to uh, remove the your cover on the OEM uh, controller, but go ahead and remove the, the cover. There's four bolts and then you will trace your be negative and trace it to your controller and go ahead and remove it from your controller. Retain your screw and get rid of your old B negative and replace it with the new provided B negative cable from Ally. Before we can hook up everything to the battery, we're gonna to need to install the voltage meter in the shunt. In regards to the voltage meter, um, we are gonna be mounting it here over the safety instructions. Um, the customer already has some switches for some 12 volt accessories mounted here. The easiest way to get the voltage meter in here and to look good with the, uh, cutting this plastic out is to use a hole saw and the size is two and one eighth inch. Go ahead and slide your voltage meter in. And now we will pop the drink holder off and then we can access the wiring harness and uh, install the mounting bracket from behind. Using the supply bracket and the wing nut that comes on the back of the voltage meter, reach up underneath, slide this over the bolt and then secure it with the wing nut. Next, we will run the voltage meter wiring harness from the battery to the dash mounted voltage meter. And basically the larger one runs to the voltage meter and the smaller one is gonna plug in to the shunt at the battery. But now I'm just gonna leave it here and I'm gonna run the larger end up to my dash in the voltage meter. And basically I'm gonna run it along with these other wires and it'll run along the bottom. There's some uh, spaces that kind of contain the wires and then you can zip tie it up along the way and find a spot right up in here in the dash. Then we will pull it through here, connect our voltage meter and then we will uh, tuck the excess wire, probably zip tie it up 
and hide it here in the dash. Okay, once you've run your voltage wiring harness into your dash area, go ahead and plug it into the back side of the voltage meter. And it's a secure connection. Now we're finally ready to hook everything up to the battery. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and hook our shunt up. And to do that, you're gonna take the red wire that is supplied. You're gonna strip back about a quarter inch. And then here, on the green ports, there's two of them, B positives. You'll use a small, very small flat tip screwdriver flathead screwdriver and you will loosen up one of the screws then you will put your exposed wire you'll put it down in there and it'll sink right down into place and then you come back with your screwdriver and you tighten it down tight not too tight you are going to put the B negative side to your terminal so to do that, you're gonna to have to rotate it around and it comes with an arrow. Well, you can put it either way. I put it this way so it doesn't um, interfere with the on off switch, but I was informed that they will be moving on the next batch. The on off switch will be over here. So you can put your shunt like this when they move the on off switch. But for right now, I am going to rotate it around, put it upside down. Now you'll want to use the bolt with the lock washer and washer, your B negative side to the post, to your negative post, and go ahead and tighten it down. You can go ahead and plug in your voltage meter wiring harness to the shunt and you'll see exactly where it goes. Now that we're ready to hook up the negative side of the shunt, I go washer, bolt. Now I'm gonna put everything from biggest to smallest, biggest touching the shunt, which would be our main, ground, our main negative. Then you have the negative from your onboard charge connector. And lastly, the negative for your 12 volt reducer, lock washer and nut. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our positive side on. So we're gonna go um, start smallest and then go to biggest. So first off, we have the positive coming from our shunt. Secondly, we have the positive coming from um, our read switch bypass that goes to our controller and that we put an eyelet on earlier. Next, we have the 12 volt reducer, onboard charger, and finally, we have the main positive that goes to our solenoid. Go ahead and replace the cover for your positive post, give you some arcing protection. I'm not gonna be able to use the negative, it's not gonna fit over the shunt. But that's okay, because we're safe here. Now we're ready to go ahead and test the cart. We're gonna turn the battery on. Now we're gonna put the cart in run. The voltage meter did cut on. We need to program it, which we'll do after we max charge it. So we're gonna take our uh, 30 amp, preferably extension cord, just a heavy duty extension cord with the ground. Uh, you're gonna plug it into your charge receptacle and this will kick on the charger. and max charge the battery and the charger will shut off when it's finished charging. You can also look at the battery voltage meter and also see that the charger is kicked on and charging. And this battery is at full charge. So now we're gonna go ahead and reprogram the charger to show 100% capacity. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure your amp hour setting is correct and you may have to
push the amp hour button and it goes amp and the amp hour and you hold it down and I've already set this one to 105. You may have to hold down the arrow button and get your amp hour up to 105. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the percentage and hold it, hold it down and it will reset to 100%. And now your amp hour setting is correct and your capacity setting is correct. And this is your voltage. We're gonna unplug it now from the receptacle and you will see the voltage will drop down to its resting voltage, which should be somewhere around 53 volts. And you'll wanna use this cart between 53 and 50 volts. All right, here's the final product. We have the Allied dash mounted voltage meter installed and set. We did install this really cool Allied USB port and what makes it really cool is it has a power button. You can turn it off and turn it on. 12 volt reducer in our 12 volt fuse block. Onboard charger, which is hooked up to the 110 charge receptacle. And the output is run directly to the battery and hooked up to our main positive and negative. We replaced the cables that were provided by Allied, installed the shunt, and this battery is good to go. We're gonna take it back to the customer and get an, uh, an initial reaction from him. Uh, but this uh, Allied battery was pretty easy to install. And uh, I think it looks really good in the cart. It's a nice center mount. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the customer's reaction. If you uh, have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Also, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. We always like learning new things. We're not know-it-alls. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. We have other lithium conversion products and videos to put out in different types of vehicles. We're gonna be doing RV and Marine next. We're working on that now. So yeah, please give us a, uh, please hit that subscribe button and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. So I'm here and I'm dropping the card off to the customer. He's taking it for a test drive now and we'll see his initial reaction. This thing's insanely fast. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad we switched to a lithium uh, allied battery. I, I can't believe how much torque it has. Awesome, awesome. Definitely notice a, a big difference. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it, it, I'm surprised I'm not spinning tires. Awesome. Hey, I appreciate it, Eric. Yeah, for sure. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate Thanks. it.